It looks like you found something. What is it? I don't know. Another piece of lapis lazuli? There seems to be quite a lot down here. In fact, there's too much of it to be occurring naturally. Oh, wow. There's some 2001 Space Odyssey stuff right there. Perhaps a ship carrying a load of these stones sank here and they spilled out. Hold on a second, I have some records here that might have that information. We can't hold up. We can't hold on a second. Look. Wait a second. That, that's actually... Why is Oceana like hanging upside down like that on top of my head? That looks really, really weird. It still looks weird. Ah, yes, it seems a ship called the Arctos went down near here. She sank in the early 20th century, and her wreck... Early 20th century? Oh, wow. Her wreck is still down there. She was a trader running between Egypt and Greece. You know, Egypt has been famous for its lapis lazuli crafts for centuries. This game is obsessed with lapis lazuli. Just gonna let you know right now. Did anybody ever read those Septimus Heat books? Those were good. But, like, they had that one amulet that was made of, like, lapis lazuli. Anyway. The wreck of the Arctos is somewhere in E4 on your map. It might be worth searching there. Now that you know the rough topography of this area, you can dive right from here next time. Okay, thanks. So, what do you say? Show it to Nancy at some point? Maybe? Kind of? Yes? No? I don't know. Raisin Bran? Yeah, so welcome back to Endless Ocean. Um, more like the Endless LP that will go on forever without me uploading anything. No, I can't be too hard on myself, but still. Um, would you... Okay. Burp. Barley. Why, why, why is this area circled on my map? Oh yeah, and sometimes when you'll be, uh, swimming by these shipwrecks, you'll hear, like, these eerie sounds, like, <coughs> It's pretty interesting. Definitely adds a lot of atmosphere. The sound designers did a good job with this, this game. Except for the, the epic breathing sound. I mean, it's nice. It reminds people that, okay, it's a shark. Oh no, look over there, it's a great white shark. Great white sharks are just as ferocious, and this one seems really mad. If we take care of this guy for us, we can take our time searching the ship. For some reason, I don't remember searching this ship at all. Last time I played this game, I somehow completely blanked on the story up to this point, and just assumed that we were supposed to uh, go straight to Valka Castle. It's actually been a while since I played this game. Use the multi sensor. Oh, here, here's some mahi mahis. About to make a terrible mahi mahi pun. And yes, there's something right there, but this is obviously more important. Yeah, I've seen these guys before. Same old Sully and Mike Wazowski, you know, famous duo. Rocky and Bullwinkle, Wilma and Betty. No, I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wow, what's this? This looks like an old bracelet with something carved on it. Hey, look! Isn't this some kind of map? Looks like a town surrounded by whirlpools, doesn't it? Mmm, spooky. Whirlpools? Could that mean the Ceceros Undines? The Ceceros Undines are found mainly in the waters to the southwest. Why don't you investigate that area? Yeah, we don't have much else in the way of leads. <laughs> Why don't we take... <laughs> I don't think that line is supposed to be funny, but it is. In the context of me just looking around this area for forever and not finding anything. Hey, you want some Pulsar? What the heck? Okay. So in case I didn't mention it, two weeks from tomorrow is my birthday. Uh, tomorrow is actually my mom's birthday. 
my mom and I have always had birthdays that are exactly two weeks apart. Um, so I'm thinking about what I'd like to get her, I guess. I'm not really thinking about what I'd like to get myself, pretty much because I have no idea what I'd like. Uh, the cloudy cat shark has a fairly wide head with long and narrow slit-like eyes. There's also a detailed pattern on its body. Females sometimes have bite wounds on their bodies. Wait, what? Well, this got this just got really graphic. This is because the while mating, the male bites the female in order to position its body. Um. This got mature all of a sudden. <laughs> this LP is no longer G-rated. I'm sorry. Wait, what was that called? Corifena Hipparis. Okay. Swimming around, swimming around, swimming around the pool. Man, I wish pools in real life were this epic. I used to go to the pool a lot as a kid. And like... Swim back and forth. Hang out with my dad. Look at the, uh... The night sky above us. We had this... We, we still have this pool. Like right across the street from us. It's pretty... It's pretty awesome. But just the thing is, you know, um, going to the gym on a regular basis involves like a membership and a bunch of stupid stuff. Okay, so supposedly this area is completely blocked off by whirlpools, and I seem to remember that being the case when I played this game, but just to prove that that's not true, I'm gonna see if I can go all the way around and go just below it. I already did this. Yeah, I was already here. Unless it's a different one. And in music too. Lost Winds, Winter of the Melodias. The Zero Sundays are stopping us from going south. Wait, no they're not. I took a look at, another look at my sea charts. So, Southwest Cicero Strait is completely sealed off by the five Cicero Sundines. There you go, that's your answer to my question. There's no way to proceed, we're at a total impasse. Oh, that's just great, what are we going to... Show Nancy our finds. That's right, always be optimistic when somebody else is being pessimistic. You all and I know that. Oh yeah, that Lapis Lazuli bracelet. That I got at H&M. Wait, does H&M sell bracelets? I don't know. I don't care, really. It has some kind of ancient writing engraved on it. Uh, sure. Maybe Nancy can tell us what it means. Yay, yeah, Nancy. What should we do? Head back to Nine Ball Island for now? Yes. No. Okay, if it's sealed off by five Cicero Sundains, that means one, two, three, four, five. I guess. Oh no. So I guess it really is completely sealed off. But, plot twist, plot twist, we are really actually going to be able to explore there. Just gonna have to do something slightly out of the ordinary. Sea Robin. That looks kinda... Maybe just from this angle, but it looks kind of weird. It looks like it has two big old leaves sticking out from the side. Length, one foot, four inches. Easily recognized by its angular head and striking green pectoral fin spotted with small blue flecks. It can make a croaking noise by vibrating... Okay. By vibrating its swim bladder. Okay. That's good to know. I'll... I'll, I'll keep that in mind for future reference. And another coin. <sighs> well, it, it, Obama... Obama and Bear Grylls were on this episode of Man vs. Wild together. Like, 
Bear Grylls was basically just hanging out and hiking around in Alaska with President Obama. Which, by the way, I'm going to sad, be sad to see Obama leave in another... Uh, how many months is November from now? Nine months? Another nine months and Obama will be... Uh, oh, Ghana. That was bad. But just like... Bear Grylls was telling Obama like all the different survival tricks around about like drinking your own pee and stuff like that and Obama was just like okay uh that's that's good to know I'll uh, I'll write that down in the back of my memory banks and he said something hilarious like that and I was like wow that that would be that would be my reaction pretty much to life is full of surprises. Oh yeah, and you'll get a you'll get a message saying the current is too strong to go any further farther. Is it farther? Further. Uh when you reach the ed ed edge of the edge of a map. Which speaking of the edge of a map, who's excited for Zelda Wii U? I am. Um Zelda Wii U is supposedly going to be like this big old like open world sort of game. From what I've seen of it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with that. I'm glad I got a Wii U. Super Mario Maker has not disappointed and I'm really excited to see what uh It reminds me of something that P call 44444 once said. I get every console because of the Zelda game, like 3DS, I wasn't too keen about it, and then Ocarina of Time 3D came out, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this. It's like, that, that's definitely me. I would get any console if a Zelda game came out for it. Like, Zelda is pretty much my life. I, I still kind of tend to stick to playing classic in games, or classic inspired games. Like, I would get Shovel Knight. I'm thinking about it. But for right now, you know, I'm kind of in that I don't want to buy any more games for a couple months zone because I'm just dreaming about what lies in the future for my Let's Play channel. And I have 20, 30 games, and at the rate I'm going, I can do three LPs a year, and I just have so many great games that I want to show them all to you guys without distracting myself by buying too many more games. So I don't know, that's just kind of my mindset about it. We must have that bracelet that you found appraised. Or use the radio to call Nancy. Wow, you're subtle. Just bossing me around, telling me what to do. No, I'm gonna look at my notebook. I'm, I love, I love notebooks. I just love writing, writing about random stuff in my notebook. That's, that's pretty much where I get my inspiration from for these videos, except not really, I don't know, maybe. It's a legend about the Song of Dragons that originated in the Pacific Rim. Intrigued by this story, you took a leave of absence from college, wow, to visit the Palago Commonwealth in the South Pacific. By chance, you ended up working for l &L Diving Service, run by the former world-renowned marine adventurer Steve Irwin, I mean, Jean Eric Luvia. On your first day, you went diving with Oceana, Jean Eric's granddaughter, and the company's only employee. Wow. Okay, that's kind of sad. She dropped her pendant during the dive, and it made this strange sound, which inexplicably, inexplicably caused a humpback whale to turn violent. Pennant had belonged to Oceana's deceased father, Matthias. Prompted Oceana to set off alone to recover another pendant that had been lost at sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pulsar, Tiger Shark, mysterious stuff. Quests. And all of these are unlocked. Okay, yeah, these are side quests. And side quests, the main story is cool and all, but side quests are really what make this game worth playing. Um. This, 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 and 
exchange points. So they're pretty self-explanatory. Some of them get pretty hard over time. Um, nothing too bad. Let's... I have a couple minutes before I have to end this episode. Um, let's develop this photo because this is the best photo ever. So, how's life? <laughs> Pretty good, yeah? You watched that Super Bowl last night? That doesn't look very good at all. It looks way too blurry. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. I thought I was adding it to my album, but I guess I'm not. Um, I don't really care. Um, coins, you can see what coins and what's salvaged. We haven't gained the ability to... Okay. Something started coming over the radio, but there was so much interference that I could barely make it out. Since when did you talk in first person? Is this the only... In this is the only instance of first person in the game. That's weird. Collect the coins. If you do. Sounds like it's picking up someone else's transmission. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, really spooky messages for no reason. Gom Veronesis, Aculeus, Scudum. Cool, so we are going to be finding lots more of those over the course of the game. And let's call Nancy. Because if I don't, people are just going to be shouting at me like, Why don't you call Nancy? You're take, dragging this episode on too long. You want it, you can get it from me. So what will it be? You want me to look at something for you? Show Nancy the Triton bracelet. Ah, uh, another old artifact. This lapis lazuli. Carved on it. Oh, wow, this is written in Linear B. Yes, at some point there was actually a language called Linear B. Sounds like pre-calculus. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a script that was used by the Mycenaeans. Of Mycenaeans and men? No, sorry. It's over 3,500 years old, predating even the Greek alphabet. Extremely rare find. Linear B is a known alphabet and the words themselves are Greek, so the internet should solve most of our problems. Just hold on there a minute. You can get internet on a tiny island out in the middle of the South Pacific? I'm impressed. Look at my face. Does this look like a face of... Okay, I'm sorry. I've deciphered the text. Fishermen of Triton Village of the Aelorus Cave pay heed if you value your life. Even the whirling waters fear the night, sail when all is quiet in the calm twilight. This looks like some kind of warning written by ancient fishermen. Calm twilight must be at night after the sun sets. Oh, that reminds me. Night diving gear. You already paid me for it, so here you go. That's the thing about this game. It conveniently unlocks usable items right when they're needed in this story. Good job, game. You're not subtle at all. And here's a free gift. Underwater pen, which is kind of useless. It's an underwater pen. It works by sort of spending fluorescent dye in the water. Neat, isn't it? Perfect for communicating in dark places. Oh, and if you find anything interesting with your multi-sensor, let me know. I'll appraise it for you, for a small fee, of course. So can we actually find treasure with our multi-sensor now? I think so. I hope that feature unlocks soon. Need anything else? Just call. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of... Okay. Now that we have night diving gear, we can go diving anytime we want. We're free to explore. How about we head back to Cicera Strait and do what the bracelet says? We get, do get situations where whirlpools appear and disappear over time. It's totally believable that a whirlpool could disappear at night. There you go. So, thank you for watching this episode of Endless Ocean Blue World. 
I hope this video brightens your day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.